Good evening and salutations, my BNB fans. You know, this episode was... <laughs> I think that's pretty much how I can sit there and describe this episode, but just kind of getting into it a little bit more. You got R.J. Smith there talking to Eric, and the one thing that R.J. said, in some, in some instances, it kind of rubbed me the wrong way, but in other instances, it's kind of sad because that's literally how it is. Because RJ Smith, they're asking, do you think that hope, I mean, do you think that Brooke will find true peace, be truly happy without Rich? You know, he's worried about it. He's like, you know, what's going on? And, you know, is she okay? And I'm just like, on one hand, well, damn, that's a way to sit there and sell her short. Basically, Smith is saying that you know, she's not complete without the assistance of someone else, a man in her life. Uh, only a man in her life is going to sit there and make her complete. That's a really terrible, god awful way to sit there and live. On the other hand, uh, Brooke has had a history of, um, you know, with Ridge and all the crazy and the shenanigans and stuff like that. So it makes you wonder. Could she actually function without Ridge in her life in, in a romantic setting? Hell, even Sistian talks about the subject with, with Steppy, and, you know, Steppy isn't Brooke's biggest fan. And, you know, he talks about his concerns with her. Now, Brooke and Taylor were talking about Hollis. Now, Hollis wasn't right for her. Because, you know, he's too young and this, that, and the third. And, you know, she she says that she needs to be with somebody that she loves and she trusts and is familiar with her. Now, of course, you know, I've made a video talking about love and trust and, and who knows her. Of course, you're sitting next to somebody who loves and trusts you and, and you can trust and has known you. Because that would be terrible. I mean, come on, let's be honest. It's not like they weren't sitting there hinting about that, about those two being a thing, the minute that they actually start being friends. I mean, come on now, how many times do you sit there and hug one person? So, but, when Deacon came into the room, well, when Deacon came into the area, right then and there, you know, Taylor had that idea. Taylor, Taylor's, Taylor's mind starts sparking. You know, Deacon was there talking about memory lane with their, their daughter and how proud they are and everything like that. And hell, even Smith, they're giving Thomas a compliment. So when Brooke left, right then and there, Taylor was Smith did, um, trying to set Brooke out. I mean, trying to set Deacon out with Brooke. Let's be honest, it's not like Deacon's has ever really gotten over Brooke. I don't know what, I mean, I was just going to say this. The chick still got curves. Just saying. She got curves in all the right places. And they have a history together. So, it's not out the, pos it's not out the, the realm of possibilities. So you got that going on. And of course, you got the ultimate simp. Drum roll, please. Mike Guthrie. Mike is all like, oh, aren't you happy to see me, to Sheila? I know Jack isn't really there for you, but, you know, I'm here. Isn't that enough? Bro, does this chick look... I I'm just not there saying this, and I'm like, I I'm forgetting that he's a set. But I'm like, can't you see that she does not seem happy to see you? Oh, I still got connects. Okay, that's, I mean, that's, that's cool um, and everything, but she ain't happy to see you. She wants to see Jack. She wants to sit there and see Ben. She does actually get her wish to see Ben. Because Ben is to talking to Steffi. And, you know, Finn is like, you know, she only wants me to pay a visit. I was her doctor and everything like that. And, you know, pretty much he wants to go there to just set the record straight. Because apparently he thinks that he's talking to a very sane and rational and reasonable woman that is totally non-delusional at all. Um, so he does go down there. And 
you know, she was like, oh, also, Sheila also thinks that she's getting out. Which, you know, one could sit there and say she's being super delusional. But the writers have a way of just breaking this chick out at any point in time, whenever they want, to, um, you know, get some ratings. Because, you know, she's pretty much the Jan Spears of B&B. But, yeah, so, so Finn comes in there, and she was like, oh, I knew you would come and see me. You know, we have a bond, and you helped me, and I could have died. And Finn is like, I'm a doctor. But it's more than, here's the thing, it's more than just him being a doctor. Because Lee's a doctor, and Lee looked at that like, hmm. Yep, yeah, that's a shame. Because what it really came down to is Finn is just not built like that. You know, he wouldn't do that to his worst enemy. He wouldn't do that to his worst enemy. So he's like, I'm not built like that. I'm not going to sit down and let you die. But he doesn't seem in this, in this episode that he makes it very clear that I want no parts of you. I don't want to have anything to do with you. You're never going to be in my life. You're never going to be in your grandchildren's lives. That's Dunzo. That is, that's a wrap right there. He doesn't make that clear. But to be fair, even if he did, it doesn't actually mean anything. Like, let's, let's really stop and think about that. Would that actually mean anything? No, it would not. <laughs> let's just sit there and say some time right now. No, it would not. It wouldn't mean anything. Um, wow. I think that's actually about it. I, I keep forgetting. You know, I'm sitting there looking like, oh, maybe there's more notes. So I was like, oh, wait. I forgot. Because B&B is so short that when I was doing my notes for, for Y&R, I was like, why am I going to sit there and just make a new page for B&B? Seeing how short this episode is and how little to nothing that actually goes on in this episode. No, there's no point. <laughs> anyway, I feel like that's about it, but also felt like I missed something, so if I did, you know what to do. Come to the live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. I'm going to be turning up. We're going to be some to talk about B&B, YNR, GH, Days of Our Lives. We're going to be sitting there getting into all of it. So if I miss anything, didn't cover something, be talking about it then and there so with that being said i'm gonna go thank you for watching stay safe and i will see you in the next video